Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I got a really interesting video for you today. I went down to Cardiff, Bessemer Road car boot sale on the weekend and I bought some beautiful, beautiful things. I've picked just a few of them to show you and boy are they a really nice little selection. Some of it is my usual but some I've gone a little outside the comfort zone and let's see if it's going to pay off. Stay tuned guys, hope you enjoy. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with run of the mill and I'm going to keep my star lots for the end. Um, say run of the mill, still a really, really nice piece. Now I haven't tested to see this, if this is uranium glass. To do that, I just put a bit of black light, um, black light, ultraviolet light on it and it may glow. But this piece is beautiful. It's 1920s, 1930s. You've got this art deck or lady here holding up the uh, compote or the tatsa. Um, original 1920s, 30s glass and the chrome base and everything. Really nice, lovely piece of Art Deco and I paid a fiver. Now Art Deco period pieces always sell well and anything with these nude ladies and that always does well, really does. So we'll have a little look now, see what this is uh, worth guys. So <laughs> you'd be surprised now. Okay guys, with this one I've searched for the Art Deco Tatsa or uh, with a glass lady. What I've searched actually is just Art Deco lady and glass, right? Uh, I was looking for the Tatsas or the stands. Now this is just to give you an idea. Anytime you get the Art Deco lady, they pull good money. There she is there. People love the Art Deco ladies. So, just giving you an idea of some of the pieces. Now, all these are moulded glass. Even this one down here, they've actually got the lady moulded into the bowl. These are all sold prices too, guys. Now, very similar lady there, nude, but that's part of a lamp. Same again, another new lady with the stand. Right, that's the base I've got, or very similar to it. I think this one's a later base, to be honest with you. But they've replaced it with a carnival glass dish that doesn't belong with it. That carnival glass dish wouldn't have been part of that. They've drilled it and made that up themselves. Uh, keep looking, any more? But it gives you an idea. This stuff is malachite glass. You want to keep an eye out for that. It pulls good money. Anyway, moving on, I searched for Art Deco Tatsa. Now, as you can see here, we got the very similar nude lady, but they've got a stainless steel or a silver plated top on this one, and they're asking £30. Um, we come across here, and I found one again, very similar nude lady sold at £12.50 with a Baker Light top. So my price for it is going to be about £25-£30 in the shop. Okay, moving on. Um, now, if you watch my videos, you've seen I've had a few of these over the last couple of years. Um, in fact, I've recently sold one that was seriously beaten up uh, for 20 quid on eBay. This one's in lovely, lovely condition. It came in for a fiver. Again, best my road uh, on the weekend. I can't sound a horn, unfortunately, but these are hunting horns. The hunting horns are smaller than the, the coach horns. The big ones, they don't sell as much money, believe it or not. The ones people want are the hunting horns, and if you can get them in silver and things like that, you're in hundreds of pounds. 
Now, for a fiver, this is going to be a good return. As I said, I sold one on the weekend on eBay, severely dented for 20 quid. And this one is in, in lovely condition. So let's go have a little look, see what we can find on it, guys. Okay, so all I've done, I've gone to eBay and I've searched hunting horn in sold listings. Now, for some reason, I'm getting this person here holding trophy horns everywhere. But I've stopped at the first set of hunting horns I've come across. Now, these are nickel and copper. £260 sold price for two. I don't understand why I'm having so much of this bloody girl selling these horns. Taxidermy horns. I tell you what, let me change that a second to UK. That might get rid of that. Right, there we go. I should have got rid of her. So, there's the two hunting horns at the top, dearest first. There's another. A vintage copper horn. Now, this one's got a maker's mark on it. Swain and Adney. £160 because he got a maker's stamp on it. Again, Henry Keats. Copper and nickel, £151. £122, £110, £175 best offer, uh, 95 but again, they've all got names on them. There is a nice little selection there of horns. You can see the larger ones I'm on about there, coach horns. Hunting horns here, coach horns up there. £70, 69 So as you can imagine, they do all right. Now, unfortunately, these ones have all got names on them. Mine hasn't. If I come across here, mine doesn't have any names at all. So mine's less money again. There you go. £60 for a hunting horn, unnamed. Hunting on, no name again, £60. Same again, £60. They've put that down as an equestrian horn. I'd be very surprised if that's equestrian hunting on at 35 inches. And they had 50 quid for a fair play one. The average price, I would say, for a standard horn is about 30 to 40 pound. There's another one there, 50 quid, 47, 47, 45. Anyway, point is, there's another one there, simple hunting on, 45 quid. If you see these small hunting horns, they're about, well, they range from sort of 7 to 10 inches. They sell for good money, guys. Okay, my last bit of glass for today's film is this basket or bowl. Now, we've got a lemon yellow colour glass cased in a clear glass with a clear glass handle. It's got a moulded pattern to it, and it's got a snapped sharp pontle on the base. Now, a pontle means when it's blown on the rod into a mould or free-blown, and then they snap it off, break it off, you have this sharp bit. Sometimes they'll polish it out, sometimes they'll leave it sharp. Now this piece is a piece of Stourbridge glass, and again, it cost me three pound in Cardiff on the weekend. So we'll have a little look what these are pulling, and what Stourbridge glass of this type sells for in general. So stay tuned guys, I love this type of glass. Okay, in this one, I've just searched a Stourbridge glass basket. Now, these are the current up-for-sale items. And you have one there by Stevens & Williams Stourbridge, £295 for a basket. £69.95 for a basket. 35 34 17 Now, these are asking prices. If you come across here, bear with me. I'd searched it in sold listings as well, and there's a single one sold at $18.99. So, 
happily i'll get between sort of 25 30 quid something like that for this piece it's a really nice thing lovely color to it, lovely shape and pattern so that's my stowbridge basket guys okay i got two lots left and they are my favorite lots of the day now first of all this is way out of my comfort zone i've never bought anything before like it um we got leather strap and tweed genuine tweed tartan uh bag now this is harris tweed the harris tweed authority harris tweed hand woven in the outer hebridge whatever that is um so we have a tartan bag tartan and leather now really really nice I have no idea what it's worth. It cost me a pound. A pound. It was in a box. And I pulled it out and I said, how much? He said, a quid. This is really, really nice. It's real good quality. Nice leather. Lovely tweed. Just on a guess. You know, without even looking. And I haven't even so much as looked. I'd say it's like 40, 50 quid uh, for my pound outlay. And it's in lovely condition. It really is. It's been used. But it is lovely. There's no holes, no tears, no rips, even the zip works. So, really nice. So, we're going to have a little look now what this sort of stuff sells for. It may shock me and be 10 or 20 quid now, but, oh, God, it's nice. Real good quality piece. Okay, for this one, I have simply searched Harris Tweed Bag because when I searched Harris Tweed, there was just so many results. But, look at the prices on these used bags they are big money now i don't know if they're gonna have one like what i've got mine's more like a little satchel similar ish to that But look at the money on them. I weren't far out with that for a guess. And all these are sold, guys. Every single one of them. Look at the consistency on the prices. I'll do another page. They're not all used. Some of them are new, some of them are used. They mixed right through. Let me scroll up here. Can I... There's 160 used. Let me go just to used. Right then. So these ones are used. There's one there that is pretty poor. £51 for a sachel. Fifty pounds seems to be a good regular price there in the forties, high forties, still forties, down to thirty fives. Now the one I've got is vintage. It's beautiful. I'm thinking about forty five, fifty pound comfortably for this. Now for a pound outlay. That is not bad at all, guys. Don't be afraid to pick up something if it looks quality and you don't know what it's worth. Okay, down to my favourite and final lot of today's video, and it is my favourite lot. Now, you all know how much I love metal, where, well, I have bought a table. I know, it doesn't look much like a table, but the stand's there as well. Now, what we have here is a tinned copper table. It's late 19th to early 20th century. It's from Iran. Uh, so it's uh, Persian Ottoman Empire. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I'm going to give you some close-ups on the design. Now this will sit on top of legs, uh, fold-up legs. Now the legs that come with it are not original. Um, the, the legs look to be like 1930s to 50s where this seems much older. The quality in the stamping of it, everything, looks to be older. And I love this design. Now, there's a really special name in the um, antiques world that deals with the 
Iran and Ottoman things and that and it's called Quasar. I think that's the right pronunciation and that stuff pulls big big money and it always has these sort of spiky leaves and things on there so well I say always they are quite common so I'm going to show you some um, pieces of Quasar and the Ottoman pieces online now in a minute this is by far my favorite piece I pay £10 for the table I'll show you the legs. The legs don't belong to it and they're quite poor quality in comparison. They fold up legs and basically you just put that down and you sit your tabletop on top of it. Some people hang them on the wall as chargers. Um, it'll be sold with this even though this is a marriage. It doesn't matter. It still does the job and you can still use it as a table. Done in a while. I'll give you a little look at the back. Really, really nice thing. This is by far my favourite buy and probably my biggest profit. Without doing research, I can see this pulling a hundred pound all day long. I don't know if you can see just here. You got uh, some birds. If you can see them there, uh, you got the leaves, the flowers. You got birds up here. Birds here bird there this is as good as it gets it's really nice so we'll have a little look it may shock me but i see it as north of a hundred pound but we'll see stay tuned let's have a look at the research okay so now we're on to my favorite item which is the quasar or the iran tinned copper table or charger now for anybody who wants the history of the quasar dynasty if you go here wikipedia and just search quasar dynasty and it tells you everything you want to know about it um i'm not going to go into the details on there but all the way up to from 1794 in persia iran all the way to 1925 and there is a full history of everything the origins the rise to power everything all on wikipedia Right, so any if you want the in, info on this stuff, the war with Russia and the territories and everything, then it's all there for you to have a read. It's quite a bit of information there to read. I'm more interested in the values on stuff. Now, all I've done here, I've searched Quasar in worldwide listings, sold on eBay. Now here, the top one is antique 19th century Persian Quasar Islamic hand chiseled steel armour set. Nearly four grand. Come down a um, silver bowl, two and a half thousand, not far off. A cup, a six of a mine, 1200. A lacquer scribe box, that's for keeping your scribe in your pen silver tray just looking for some variety for you to see some of the stuff that's available i am that's silver a minute we want to come down a bit in price right you got a brass tray there 1500 pound silver box They got a brass centerpiece there, 340 odd, 350. Right, we got a copper tray here for tinned copper tray, which is exactly what I got. Uh, let's go and have a look at their pictures. Right, what you're looking for is these sharp. They got them on there. Yeah, they got some, some of the leaves, the sharp leaves and things. But it's the Persian design, the Iran design. This is a particularly nice one. I like that in the centre there. A little roundel. Let's go back, see what others are there. A 
I wanted something with a more striking design to show you the sharp leaves and things. There's another one there, chiseled brass tray, 272. But you get this design right the way through, not just in metal, where you get it in ceramics, you get it in everything. <clears throat> Let's have a look what this one got. Let's have a look at this. This one's all people all the way around by the looks of it. With the animals and things. This is all script. That'll translate into something all the way around. Probably be for a wedding gift or something along them lines. £325 they had for that. Uh, we got tinned copper again. Let's have a look what this is. Again, it's not really in the design of what I got. This one's more presentation again. But it's showing you some of the diversity and prices of some of this stuff. Let me open this tile up. Ceramic tile. Let's see what the design is on this. No, I haven't got the leaves. Anyway, I'm going to leave it by there on that one, right? We're going to move across now. I've just searched a quasar copper, right? Because I just wanted to look at trays. Um, we start here at the one we've looked at, 340, 325, 229. It's a brass one there, 225. Let's have a look at this urn. It looks kind of different. It's quite crude. Um, again, relatively rubbish copper charger there, sixty-eight pounds. Tinned copper flask, ninety pounds. What have we got here? We got uh, hand engraved tinned copper plate. And that's only eight inches. Now mine is like. Not far off uh, 70, 80 centimetres diameter. So that just gives you an idea anyway of the Quasar piece. What can I say, guys? Um, between it all, I had a wonderful day buying down in Bessemer. The Art Deco Combat's going to go out. Compa uh, comport. Tatsa, Comport, whatever you want to call it. The Art Deco one. That's going to go out £25, £30, no problem at all. Stourbridge Basket, again, £25, £30. This tweed bag, I'm going to probably put it on eBay at 60 and see if I get an offer. Um, yeah, that's probably where I'm going to be, 60, 65 pound on that, but that's going on eBay because it needs the open market. Hunting on, I'm going to put on for about 40, 45 pounds. And then we have this. <sighs> I absolutely love it. And I'm thinking I'm going to probably go about 125, 145 on this one. Um, UK sale only, leave it sit there for a while until somebody makes me an offer. I'm happy with it and I don't care how long it sits. I can afford to leave it there at the prices I pay. The bag, the tartan bag, tweed bag, that's going to be a fast sell, I can tell you that now. The Art Deco Compact, uh, Comport and that, that's going to fly, so is the hunting on. So all in all, I'm going to make a profit on the day quickly with it and still have pieces sitting. All in all, really good day, considering the rain we're having at the moment, all the fields are shut down. Um, I bought a lot of stuff off one uh, house clearance man who went to Bessemer Road in Cardiff. He turns up with his van, all the dealers are in the backs of the private cars. And I, I walked up to the dealer, I said, yeah, what have we got? And I bought tumps off him at such silly money, it's unbelievable. He was happy to have it gone and he treated me almost like royalty because I was there, had a big bundle of money and if he pulled it out and it was the right money, I bought it. And honestly, I filled the car. 
So I'll um, I'll make a few more films this week showing you some more of the bits I've had off him. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.